How many times have you been in Hawaii or somewhere on vacation and you kind of walk in and you go, God, we ought to sell everything and move here and do this. Well, we did it. I was told that we wanted this house. And I was told that we're gonna make a bed breakfast out of it. And I was told that you're going to enjoy the work. <laughs> so that's how. He's exactly right. <laughs> it's a big house. Um, and it, it just needed to be shared. It's a big piece of Texas. I'm Ricky Stanley. I'm Peggy Stanley. We're in Matagorda, Texas. At the Stanley Fisher Bed and Breakfast. This house was built in 1832, and at that time, the land still belonged to Mexico. Andrew Jackson was the president, I think. Uh, uh, it was, uh, uh, you know, uh, the fall of the Alamo was 1836. George Armstrong Custer was born in the year this house was built. Stephen F. Austin was up in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, having some maps made of this territory, and he met uh, Samuel Rhodes Fisher. Austin kept telling him, you need to go to Matagorda. There was some shipbuilders in the harbor. Mr. Fisher hired them. They went up the coast to Louisiana, Alabama, got all of the lumber, and the shipbuilders built the house. Then shortly after, they had the Texas Revolution, and Mr. Fisher was Secretary of the Navy during that. They had a lot of meetings uh, in this area, strategizing about the war, and so we know that Sam Houston has stayed in this house and Stephen F. Austin has stayed in this house. Meetings were held here, um, school kids boarded here for a while. Um, this, this room was used as the local funeral parlor, so yes, it's had quite a bit of uses. This is the room that Sam Houston would have stayed in, Stephen F. Austin would have stayed in this room. It is one of the oldest surviving houses in Texas. We always have puzzles. I feel a huge sense of pride. Our guests are always asked and encouraged to help us put it together. That we have uh, given this house another 100 years structurally by what we've done. We have uh, three rooms in the house that we rent out for B&B business. And we have our suite is in the house upstairs. So we are on premise all the time. And then we do breakfast every morning at whatever time the guest wants the breakfast. Uh, we feel like they are the ones on vacation and we want them to have a fabulous experience. We are busy year round. So many of our customers have become friends. And That's that- a surprise. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a big surprise. We weren't, we weren't really thinking about that. We enjoy it. We enjoy the people that come here, uh, people from all over uh, uh, the world. We are so blessed. We are so blessed. And we know it, you know, we know there are people that have more than us and they don't appreciate what they have. We appreciate what we have and we feel very, very fortunate and blessed. I also am in awe of it even to this day because it's such a beautiful piece of property that I, I really can't believe that, gosh, this is, this is ours. It's just such a treasure. And we get to share it. <laughs>